When you guys are graphing uh, linear inequalities, the main important thing is we just want to treat this just like an equation. Forget about the inequality symbol for the moment. Just treat this like a graphing a linear equation. So I'll just write it like that. y equals negative x plus 2. All right. So therefore, when we're graphing this, we want to identify the y-intercept and the slope. The y-intercept is 2, which is a coordinate point. Please understand that the y-intercept is a point. Okay. The slope is a ratio of change between two points. So when we're looking at a ratio, we want two values. Right now, I just have this negative x. So what exactly is the slope? The slope is negative 1. But again, when we're talking about a ratio, we're talking about the change in y coordinates over the change in x coordinates. So I want to be able to represent this as a fraction. So I can write it negative 1 over 1. But that doesn't tell me which, which has the negative change, the y or the x's. So I write it as negative 1 over 1 or 1 over negative 1. Just do not put, make both of them negative. Because negative 1 divided by negative 1 is positive 1. And we know that we definitely have a negative 1. So when graphing, it's important to use one of these ratios. All right, It's going to give you the same thing. So now let's go and get on to graphing. So to go ahead and graph this, um, all we simply need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is identify the y-intercept again first, which is your point 0, 02. So I go on my y-axis, I plot the point 0, 02. Now the next thing is I'm going to use my slope to find my next coordinate point. So if the change in the y-coordinates is negative 1, that's going to tell me from my y-intercept, I'm going to go down 1. If the change in the x-coordinates is positive 1, that's going to tell me to go to the right 1. Or if I use this ratio, if the change in the y-coordinates is positive 1, I go up 1. And if the change in the y-coordinates is or x-coordinates is negative 1, I go left 1. So do you guys see how this, it doesn't matter which one of these you use, right? Do you guys see how that? It doesn't matter. So now, that is going to be kind of my three points that line the line. You only really need two points. But before we start graphing, we need to determine, are the points on the line a part of the solution or not a part of the solution? So we look at this, our inequality symbol. And whenever it's less than or greater than, it's going to be dashed. Less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, it's solid. And what dashed or solid means, it's dashed means it's not a part of the solution. Okay, The points are not a part of the solution. So when I graph my line, I'm going to graph it as a dash point. All right, It's not a part of the solution. Now, the next thing that we want to do Justin, I'm having a hard time believing that you're doing what you need to be doing. So now what we need to do is determine the shading. Right? Systems of equations are, we're determining points that make our inequality true. So we want to be able to determine points above or below. Okay? We're about to revoke some access here if we can't get our stuff done. So now what we're going to do is we need to choose a test point. The des best test point to pick is going to be a point that does not lie on your inequality, which is 0, 0. The reason why I want, don't want you to pick one that lies on your inequality, because if you pick a point that lies on inequality, you're just determining if the inequality symbol or if the point is a part of the uh, boundary line or not, which we already determined it's not because it's dashed. So I pick 0, 0, and that is a coordinate point, x, y. All right. Then all I do is I plug in 0 in for x and 0 in for y in for my inequality. 0 is less than negative 0 plus 2. 0 is less than 2. Is that true or false? Is 0 less than 2? True. So therefore, all, if my test point is true and it's below my line, that means all the points below the line are also true. That's where you shade. If it was false, that means all the points below are false, and you'd shade above. OK? I'm going to start getting some 